murky start to our second day of the long weekend. We've got a gimbal that we've been sent. That we've not used yet. We put one of the broken Osmos on. It's not broken, it still works, but we thought if it does drop for any reason when we're hanging it outside, we can um, give it a go. We just need to read the instructions a bit more. Sorted, we think. Let's say this, this is a camera that fell off the van when we were filming a long time ago. I don't think you can see it, but the screen's all cracked, but it still records. So we can hang the gimbal out the window and get some shots. And if the camera does fall off. So, yeah, I mean, it's not one of those that uh, if you turn it upside down, it's upside down. It's uh, because of the gimbal. It's a nice smooth transformation. And this is a Hohem gimbal. Um, a Hohem i steady pro 4 we'll give it a go and you'll see some footage later on in the video hopefully if it works we've never had much luck with gimbals before have we? no this i mean we've never been able to set them up properly have we no, but this, but this one is self-balancing so it's all it all sorts itself out it looks, looks good at the moment well, hang it out the window and give it a go. And you might see, as I say, if it works, you'll see some footage later in the video. I really don't know what this is going to be like because we can't see the back screen, so we don't know how it's recording, but... Hello! I'm going to hang you out the window. There's not much of a view, to be honest. Because it's that wet rain.
¿Sí? <risa> We're just coming to check out the uh, Estelle Railway, the Lil Ratty, Little Lil Ratty as it's called. Not to go on today, but we're up again in a few weeks and it's something that we've thought about doing. It's a bit cheeky though, be using the car park, if you're using the train, unless you knock it off the train tickets, it's a pain display car park. Oh, because it's Dale Garth, is it, as well? Yeah. We just want a leaflet, don't we? Can do, see what pay display is. Not going out into the train. Oh, that's what you do, it's raining. I don't That's the noise you don't like. No. Time for a coffee, we think. Oh. One we've been to before, the Hard Knot Bar and Cafe.
checking maps while we're in the pub. Just deciding where to park up for tonight. It's a wet day. And although it would be a nice walking day, we'd only get wet through. And we're not prepared to get wet through today. Well, we've just pulled up because for tea tonight we're having lamb and we thought we'd just have a look at this woodland and there's some wild garlic so we thought we'll have lamb with some wild garlic do a bit of foraging I'm pretty sure that somewhere like this the dogs won't have weed on it no. or any dogs will have weed on it I say you're blending very nicely there with your green t-shirt Mr Ashworth <laughs> I don't know. Speed up. That should be, shouldn't it? I thought so. It smells garlicky. Mmm. And the it's rain's still rain raining. Again. The bluebells are out, which are nice. But I learnt something yesterday. Mm. Off my biology teacher here. Aren't they lovely? There's three species of bluebells in this country. There's the English bluebell, the Spanish bluebell, and a hybrid. And these, I think, the English bluebell loops over, droops down more. I like that one. Whereas the Spanish bluebell is more upright and the hybrid is a pinker, more pink than blue. So it's a pink bell. Mm. Well, there you go. Every day is a life lesson. Ta. -da. We're parked up for the night in one of our old favourite spots. But there's not much of a view. It's a bit murky and misty and wet. But it's not raining in because we're finally putting the gutter to some use. And it's working. We think. We think, anyway. We just got to remember not to try and close the door with it there. Keith's just preparing food. What are we having, Keith? Muesli. Oh, that looks lovely. Well, Bay says, yes, it does, please. Are you all ready for it? You're all a bit wet, aren't you? All right, you can have your dinner in a minute. You're not having garlic in yours, though. No wild garlic. So we're having the wild garlic. With lamb chops, fried potatoes and peas. It's gonna be nice. We've got the uh, lamb chops in there now. With the garlic, wild garlic. We're going to, it's going to be a one pot meal. So we're going to put some potatoes. They have, have been cooked, so we're just going to warm those up and some peas.
So, potatoes are in, peas are in, so I'll just warm it all through now. Put the lid on, it's just about done. How are you doing, Chef? Done. It smells absolutely divine. They've shrunk a bit, haven't they? Not too bad, too bad really. I'm glad we said we'd have two each, though. Swap one over if that's yours because you only got a little one there. What was that look? Well, it is cold. <laughs> they saw P drop off your throat and she is going on the floor. And continuing with our botany lesson from Campervan Tales, after the Bluebell story and picking wild garlic to cook with our tea, we now have a lesson on dandelions. Over to our dandelion correspondent, Keith Ashworth. Dandelions are the, one of the first plants to flower in the spring, so they're good for pollinators. They produce nectar and pollen, so things like bees, essential for bees. They regenerate the earth, the soil that they're in, and they have a life cycle. And I can't remember what they do to the si uh, soil, but they add nutrients <coughs> and when they die they've gone through the whole of the cycle and the soil's replenished and if you cut them as in with the lawnmower and things they'll grow lower and lower so the flowers are um, sh shorter and virtually most of the dandelion is edible although I'm not sure about the uh, the stems because as a kid when you tasted it it's very bitter but it is all edible and the the roots were, are the most edible part, apparently. And that's our botany correspondent, Keith Ashworth. Thank you very much, 